Right now, we're very excited. The Barn Theater 73rd season kicks off this week. And uh, with us right now, Brendan Ragazzi and Penelope Alex. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so good to have you theater people at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You actually look pretty uh, energetic. Must be this uh, well, season. Thank you. Must be the season that you've announced. <laughs> That's right. And we'll let we'll and nap the lighting later. in here too. So. <laughs> <laughs> lighting, <laughs> napping. It's all good. Well, usually it's Monday that uh, the theater's dark and there's not much going on. That's usually a good day to bring in, but uh, right. when it was Memorial Day, we couldn't really do that. So right. here we are on a Tuesday, but it feels like a Monday. <laughs> and uh, what, things get going Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday we have our gala, our big benefit gala, June 1st at 8 o'clock. And we'll have some visiting Barneys. Our famous Barneys will come back, a few of them. And we're going to be um, unveiling our wall of fame, which is very exciting for us. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. Well, we're going to be inducting about 32 people and from all walks of the business, which we're, we're always so proud of our Barneys, and this is a way to really honor them. And throughout the years, we'll be doing this, and this is our first time and that it's the unveiling. We're so excited. It'll be there on the property for all the patrons to see, and that ceremony happens, I believe, at 6.30. 6.30. Mm -hmm. You know, I see Barneys all the time. TV and movies. Yeah. The other day, I think it was Eric Peterson was oh, playing some he's really, doing so well. <laughs> really weird character in some. Uh, Peterson, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, of course, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, Lance Barber, right, Battle yeah. Creek Boy. I'm thinking of the girl that's that you know, you know uh, your mom said she was a great toilet cleaner. Yes, Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. Garner. Yeah. Yeah. We're very proud of that. Please, the best toilet. Probably still has that record. <laughs> she does. Yeah, so. I think so. She was great. And and, and, you know, I'm flipping through the channels and, you know, uh, my dad and my brother like to watch that, the old rerun channel. There's a Virginian on there. And I saw the very first Barney, your dad, Jack Rigazzi. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that was the episode he lost his teeth in. Yeah. But that's a whole nother story. Oh, yep. really? I didn't know that. Broke yeah, his teeth. He broke his teeth. They were rehearsing that his shootout in his fall. This, this is the first thing he was doing there. So he was very <laughs> excited. And uh, he ended up falling on his gun pulling the hammer down on his teeth and shattering him. So, oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, so, the whole rest of the episode he did with sort of his lips over yeah, his they teeth. They catch him up in the commissary and <laughs> or whatever. Oh. <laughs> and he got new teeth. And he got new teeth out of it. Exactly. The Virginian, that was kind of an interesting thing. It was my dad's favorite show. We kids hated it. Um, <laughs> of course. We, we were very young. Bonanza more. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it was a 90-minute television show that was on every week when it first came out. It was 90 minutes. I didn't, I didn't realize it that. It was a 90-minute wow. show. You Entirely know, too like, long for children to sit through. Well, it was. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a little slow-moving and right. stuff, I thought. But, uh, you know, my dad loved it. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so there's that. <laughs> at some point, uh, like 73 years ago, um, your parents, uh, Brennan, decided uh, let's let's create a little theater in Richland, and the next thing you know, they had an old barn in Augusta, and that's where it's been ever since. Yeah, it was in Richland for just three seasons <laughs> until the town elders decided the late night traffic was just too great. So oh, they gave, really they gave him the boots. So uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> right, before, right before the season in 49. And then Jack and Betty found the barn, literally driving around the area. And from then on, it's been, it's been there. And we've just sort of improved and improved and made, made changes. And we're so pleased with how she looks right now. And she's getting another facelift. So we're very yeah. happy with the barn. Every institution has to evolve or just fade away. True. And uh, yeah. you guys have been... You know, uh, since Jack and Betty have been gone now, it's been quite a while. You know, you've had to had to really knuckle down and and evolve it. You know, yeah. and you've opened a school and it's been renovated a couple times. Yeah, and you know, us being a school, we've always taught. It's always been a place for non-professional theater students to learn from professionals. And so Betty, before she before she passed, bless her heart, she turned it into a, a nonprofit. And it's just a you know it's one of those smart ways to go because every theater in the nation has their ticket sales and it has um, people able to donate and give and foundations and grants and it's just all part of you know different revenue streams and keeping you afloat. They get, even though it's a nonprofit, and you know, and it's not easy to make a buck in this business because the costs just keep going up and up and I'll up. Oh, darn! You know, but you're still turning out 
you know, fine actors and giving young actors a place where they can, I mean, it, this isn't like community theater, nothing against community theater. We love it. But I mean, this is uh, several rungs up the ladder. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, I get a lot of questions and emails and such about, can my son come? He's very interested in theater and he's seven and this and that, or my high schooler or whatever. And we're not exactly that um, this is a place for advanced theater training, but mm -hmm. the huge umbrella picture is for us to have a place for youth to come um, as a camp and to do their show and to be on our stage. And so that's that's what we're shooting for, which would need a whole other staff and a whole other place to rehearse. So it's down the line a bit, but that's that's our ultimate goal is just sort of include all types of people too, to uh, to train. Yeah, yeah, and think of the memories that you guys uh, and and those before you generated for the people oh. in this. And I'm talking a pretty big footprint. I mean, where it, it, it people come from far and wide. Yeah. In the in the region, my parents that was their night out in the '60s. They would go to Inman's. They oh, would yeah, they would right. have dinner, and then they would go to uh, see the show at the barn, and then they would come home. And it, if we were still up, which we shouldn't have been, but <laughs> they would tell us all about it. And, they, oh, you know, and uh, <laughs> I remember my mother going on about Tobacco Road. Oh, oh gosh, the right. language! <laughs> <laughs> but they loved it. <laughs> and, and, you know, uh, I'll be talking to friends of mine, you know, who are doing productions of this or that, you know, uh -huh. be like, uh, Noises Off will come up. Oh, gosh, I remember seeing that at the barn and when Joe Aiello went up the uh, stairs with his pants down around his ankles, I almost peed mine. <laughs> Right, exactly. It was so funny, you know, yeah. and I just remember those productions out there because, like I said, there's several rungs up the ladder, you know. Oh, and well, thank you. Really great performers over the year. Yeah. And well, years. And, and it's always that, you know, you have a great group of apprentices for many years, and then there's just a few years later, and many of them hit it famous. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're Eric Peterson is one of our big Barneys. Um, and now we're in that growing stage, like a development years. And and then they'll go to New York. This this group of kids for the last four or five years will go to New York. Some of them will hit it. And, you know, the pride, we just burst with pride when they do so well, whether it be behind the scenes, in front of the camera, behind the camera, on stage, writing, whatever. It's it's immense. Our, our alumni are very impressive, I gotta say. They're and and somehow you're able to get them to come back too. I and, know. And that really speaks to, you know, you know what the, is that? The, the uniqueness <laughs> of the place and the the memories that I'm talking about. It's not just for the patrons, certainly for the the actors yeah. as well, you know, but you're able to get, you know, the likes of Tom Wolpat to come back and Robert Newman and right. Kim Zimmer. Right. And they'll both be back this year. They will. So exciting. My goodness. Before yeah. we do get to the season, you're going to do a couple of uh, improvements on the rehearsal shed lounge a little bit, too. They're already in the works, but it'll take a little while with all the permitting, I'm sure, and oh my, uh, township yes. officials and such. But sure. uh, what are you doing there? We are expanding. and you know, We're kind of keeping up with the Joneses. Uh, it's uh, We just have to. It's it, you know, it's, it's a former tool shed. And uh, we've asked a lot of it. We've asked a years. lot of it. Uh -huh. and half of it was our old, you know, family living room and that kind of thing. So, uh, but we're we're upgrading uh, and uh, better bathrooms, just a better experience all the way uh, around. All the way yeah. around. So, a yeah. kitchen. A kitchen. Wow. So mm -hmm. even more than just snacks. Then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're planning on having dinners that are in house to have three, four maybe uh, choices for people. It won't be, of course, that type of restaurant full menu, right. but just a few choices that if you come to the barn, this is what you get. And um, we've very happily done some food tastings and we love what we're going to be offering. So oh. that'll be unveiled very, yeah, in a few months, we'll be talking about that. Well, we'll have you back to talk more about that, and cool. maybe uh, throughout the season, maybe if, if 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 the stars align, maybe we can get some of the stars in here with you too. Oh, absolutely! Like uh, you know, Robert, New you and Robert Newman are doing uh, one of my Todd. one of my favorite Sweeney Todd, uh, yeah. which is a, a very unusual musical. It is, yes, yeah, but sort of dark, wouldn't you say? I would say a little bit dark. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, we can kind of tell people the story, basically. Uh, you yeah. know. There's uh, uh, well, this barber uh, mm -hmm. and his uh, 
is it a consort or just a friend or just an acquaintance they decide to uh since there's a meat shortage yes they, they, they just up... have to make ends meet yes. shall we say yeah. they come up with a very creative way in that he's a barber yeah and some people can be sort of gotten rid of and no one asks questions and they wonder what to do with those people because they're running out of cats yeah <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so, exactly. but, and the music is outstanding Stephen oh, Sondheim it's fantastic it's uh it's unique and fantastic and the special effects you'll get your your uh, crew is going to have uh its work cut out for you exactly. that, when is that by the way it's July 2nd through the 14th all right so we'll just yeah. remember that right around the 4th of July for a couple mm -hmm. of weeks Robert Newman will be back and uh he'll be uh, I imagine the demon barber of, of, Fleet, of, of Street. Fleet Street. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, Wicked. very good. Uh, now you mentioned the big gala. That's this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. That's our huge benefit, and that's fifty dollars a person. And you'll see, you'll see all the Barneys on stage. It introduces the whole company, gives you an idea of the season. We preview that as well, and it's just a fantastic night. You get to see up close and personal after the show. You meet everybody, and that's one not to miss to get an overview of the whole season. And then after that, for just a week, is Disaster. That's a show we did at the end of last summer, and it's this hysterical, campy musical that's formed around the disaster movies of the 70s. So, you know, that's fun. And no, actually, it's very, very funny, because the camp and the, the music, all the 70s songs, we all recognize. Feelings, Hooked on a oh Feeling, my gosh. Still the One, um, Knock on Wood, just we some... Great disco, rock, light rock. It's great. It, that's the thing about 70s music. We just did a, we had a, a little campfire uh, last week with some friends. And so we started talking about the worst songs of the 70s. <laughs> and I would just mention a hint and, then, you know, everybody, starts everybody would bust out singing them. And right. It was more fun. Well, we tried it with the 60s. We tried it with the 80s and the 90s. It doesn't work. 70s. 70s. There's something about it. Agreed. So that's great. That's going to be uh, June 4th through 9th. One week only. Disaster. Mm -hmm. And then what's after that? Well, after that is another week. One week, July, uh, sorry, June 11th through the 16th, called Love Lies and the Doctor's Dilemma. And that's one of those, oh, just. It's a door slamming farce. Side splitting yes. hilarity. Yeah. And that's one of the things we do best at the barn, I gotta say, are those farces. Those, those very quick moving door slamming, as Brendan said, farces. And that's, again, just for one week. And then after that is for two weeks, June 18th through the 30th, is the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Oh, great. And that is one of those funny, endearing, touching musical. I always, musicals, I always think of it as kids, kind of like a, a chorus line, where they're telling you these incredibly hysterical, touching stories from their lives. But it's children. Now, mind you, it's adults playing children. Mm -hmm. So it still is geared for all types of people. And seriously, one of the funniest shows you'll ever see about a spelling bee. And audience participation, too. With, when people come up from the audience and do some spelling. So that's always fun. Which version, by the way? Is well, there, isn't, the, there, isn't there like a PG-13 version? There's a PG-13. Yep, yeah, and that's okay. what we're doing. Yes, and, exactly. and that's the one that I saw, and I just... Uh, it, it was fantastic. I, I just you laugh, you enjoyed it so much. It was very funny, but the music was very, very fun. And so, and, so yeah. clever. Yeah. And, oh, just great. And then after that is Sweeney Todd, as mm -hmm. we covered. Then after that, Robert Newman is staying with us for Big, the musical. Oh, really? Yeah. And that's that, you know, that iconic 80s movie with Tom Hanks and he and Robert Loja on the keyboards. So he's playing the Loja role? Yeah, he is. Oh, great. Rather great. than the Tom Hanks role. Yeah, do we know who's playing the uh, Tom Hanks role yet? No, we don't. Yeah, okay. So what are those casting things that'll come? That'll be a plum role for one of our exactly. Barneys this year. Yeah. Exactly. And then uh, this one's really uh, looking interesting for the tail end of July and the first part of August. Mm -hmm. Steel Magnolias. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that beautiful, you know, I, it's so funny and so touching all at the same time. So you're laughing and crying, and it's that perfect presentation of love, of friendship and community and hysterical neighbors, you know, all kind of rolled into one. And Kim Zimmer comes back for that. Great. We'll also have Lori Moore 
himself, local and, uh, radio yeah. and TV personality. Yeah. Right. And Jennifer Fernie, who's the uh, business manager and managing the New Vic Theater in Kalamazoo. So she's been in the in the business for a very long time. We're so pleased to have those community members with us as well. That's great. And then uh, as if that weren't enough, you're going to do Mamma Mia. <laughs> we are. We're going to do Mamma Mia, August 13th through the 25th. And that's one of those one of those shows we're all looking so forward to. And tickets are flying off the shelves for, for this as well. So that'll be a great time and a good yeah. girls night out, you yeah. know. And I know it requires some pretty good musicians in the pit orchestra. Oh, absolutely. We always yeah. have those. Yeah. And um, as I said before, as if that wasn't enough. But there's, wait, there's one more. more. One more. Yeah, for one week only, we'll be doing Evil Dead, the musical, which if anybody knows those movies, Bruce Campbell's movies, oh, yeah. there are three of them. And this takes all three of those movies, parts of those movies, and puts them in a musical. That is to die for, well, and pun intended. So there you go. Where everyone's turning into zombies. There's literally lost limbs, demons, telling hysterical jokes and singing songs. And there's a splatter row, typically, for the blood in the audience. So we're going to give people ponchos and things like that. Quite a variety in uh, the 73rd season. Yeah. Lots of great news. It all starts this Saturday at the Barn Theater in Augusta. Uh, just tell us how we can get uh, our tickets and get them right well, online. Well, you can right? get them. You can get them right online, exactly, as well as uh, money-saving coupon booklets at this point. So check all of that out at barntheaterschool.org. Or, of course, you can call the box office at 269-731-4121. And we're open 10 to 10 daily. So it gives people the any any opportunity, their lunch hour, the morning, at night, whenever you can reach us. Go to the Barn website, or if you have trouble uh, spelling it, just go to the WBCK website and search Barn Theater, and you'll find the article with the season and uh, find out all about it. Uh, wow. Thanks a lot for being in. That's that, that's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan Ragazzi, Penelope Alex, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. Break a leg.